Hey everyone, glad to be back. Happy New Year. Got a crazy January home theater room tours lined up for you guys and starting 2021 off with a bang. And in this episode 24, you're going to see some really impressive equipment, a hidden man cave that you'll never want to leave. And as you guys already might have seen the thumbnail, a match intro of the Gladiator, which is also one of my favorite badass movies of all time. We've got a lot to get through. And before we take a look, if you like content as such, please hit that like button which also helps out with the performance of this video. Today's man cave belongs to Jeff from Ohio, United States. Jeff's a construction worker, a huge ACDC fan, who's always had a passion for car audio, but after visiting his new local TV store, he found a cinema magazine that sparked his new passion for home theatre. Throughout the years, he went through so many different types of equipment, buying, selling, upgrading, and one day bought a new house with his wife, that had an unfinished basement and of course, the light bulb lit up. He quickly sketched his 20 year old dream being an open concept man cave. He wanted a home theater, pool table and a gaming area all under one roof. So let's check out Jeff's incredible basement transformation. Enjoy. I think I've cried too many times watching that movie for some reason. But anyway, this epic man cave's home theater area is 13 by 18 feet with an 8 foot ceiling. Initially, Jeff wasn't happy with the layout of this basement because of the original support columns were in the way of the pool table space area. So he eliminated the two columns and put a 22 feet long beam from the side of the house, which was very challenging but managed to get it done. For the column that was going to carry the extra load, he had to dig out a massive hole in the ground for a bigger footing, which took over 40 80 pound bags of 5000 psi concrete mix with two mats of tight rebar for support. Once this was completed, the work began with studs, electrical, insulation and foam boards in the walls, the drywall and sealed the flooring off with a three quarter tongue, foam boards and some plywood, to make it comfortable all year round, keeping it warm even in winter. Built a riser for two row seating and speaking of comfort, he's finished things off with a commercial grade 10 millimeter thick padded next step cushion tile carpet that you would find in a high end office, which feels great on the feet. Around the basement, he's kept things clean and minimal with white walls, but has chosen to go with a dark red feature wall behind the screen and finish things off with two velvet manual curtains from JC Penney's to cover the screen when he's not using his home theater area. Having a flooring above his ceiling, he really had to think about room acoustics, find a way to illuminate sound, and that's why he's chosen to go with the Armstrong acoustic material ceiling tiles, which I think looks great and I'm sure do a greater job than your typical standard drywall. So let's kick things off with his 7.4 surround sound setup. For left and right front channels, Jeff's using the almighty DevTech BP3000TL towers that rock this room. 
These flagship speakers are equipped with two 6.5 inch cast magnesium mid-range drivers complemented by a 1 inch aluminium dome twitter and subwoofer to its side which we'll talk about in a sec. Paired with these phenomenal floor standing speakers is the DevTech CLR3000 center channel speaker which is also equipped with two 6.5 inch cast basket mid-range drivers and a 10 inch sub. This is also being placed on a custom DIY gloss black speaker stand that Jeff has built which was a lot of work but as you guys can see it has definitely paid off. For surround channels he's using once again the DevTech BP VXP bipolar powered speakers that feature the same drivers as the LCR producing 125 watts of excellent sound. Finishing his 7 channel speaker setup at the back of this room inside the walls he's hooked up two DevTech UIW75 in wall speakers which I think is very clever saving space and works perfect for this layout. Now being a basement, of course big bass is a must and I'm sure most of you guys know how ridiculous these badass SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofers are. With a retail price of $5,000 here in Australia, these 1500 watt continuous power sledgehammers feature massive 16 inch ultra drivers with astonishing 8 inch voice coil, triple treating 3.5 inch front firing high flow ports that will blow your mind out of your seat. With its innovative subwoofer control and DSP smartphone app, you can custom preset your tuning for the ultimate ported subwoofer. And Jeff is using not one, but two of them. Having flooring above this basement, he also uses SVS isolation feeds to help with the vibration and the complaints from his neighbors. I only dream of having one of these in my room one day, but for Jeff, that's not good enough. And that's why he's also using these 18 inch one thousand watt subwoofers that's on the side of his DevTech left and right towers. Wow Z, talk about an earthquake. Of course being a bass fanatic all of these subwoofers are tuned using the room equalization wizard software UMIK1 and a mini DSP 2x4 HD. Let's head over to the AV rack that Jeff has custom built that's made out of steel and for a preamp Jeff's using this 27 pound of steel Anthem Statement D2 surround sound processor which he also uses the Anthem room correction for all other frequencies in the room. This unit might be old but is one insanely good looking solid quality preamp that I'm sure some of you guys would give thumbs up for. Underneath it we have a DirecTV HD tuner and the Oppo BDP 103D Blu-ray player which he plans to upgrade to the Panasonic DPUB 9000 4K player. Jeff not only has powerful subwoofers in this room but he's also hooked up one of the most powerful multi-channel amplifiers in the world and this is the Earthquake Sound Cinenova 7 channel power amplifier. This made in USA monster has an impressive output power of 150 watt RMS on each of the 7 channels at 8 ohms weighing in at 130 pounds hence why the steel AV rack. Underneath it he also has a Monster Power Center HDS 3500 surge protector providing ultra high 2775 joules of protection on his equipment that's also paired with the Monster AVS 2000 automatic voltage stabilizer allowing him to get the most from his setup in terms of stability, reliability and performance. In order to get behind this incredible custom built AV rack check this out. Jeff has a little secret he would like to share with you guys and that is by pressing this rod into the ground hole of this electrical outlet. No he's not going to get zapped but in fact it's a magnetic release button for a secret door that looks like a DVD storage cabinet. How cool is that? To the front of the room for display Jeff's using the 100 inch screen innovation slate 16.9 fixed frame screen. This elegant reference series 8K screen offers a 1.2 gain satin smooth texture finish bringing images to life like never before. Paired with this screen is the JVC DLAX 700R 3D high definition projector that's hidden inside the little niche that Jeff has built for a clean flush look. Would you look at that? To the front of the room behind the curtain Jeff has hooked up a full circuit board which looks clean and organized 
running most of his equipment on separate 20 amp circuits, such as his seven channel Cinenova Grand Amplifier, the Anthem Statement D2 processor on another, front left and right DevTech towers also separate, SVS subwoofers on one and the rest of the components on another. Protecting his complete home, he's also installed the First Search Pro FS140 Search Protector and controls his entire electronics with the URC MX980 Universal Remote Control, which looks awesome. Being a small room, Jeff's managed to squeeze in two rows of three electric reclining seats that come with cup holders and center power port, which is convenient, but plans to upgrade these to the Valencia Tuscany Theatre seats in the near future. The back row seating is on a DIY riser as you guys can see, which also has some cool LED lighting around it. Now let's head over to the entertainment section of this basement. Behind his theatre seats, he's built a custom DIY bar bench top, adding more seating to his home theatre, which is a big thumbs up when family and friends come over. As I mentioned earlier, Jeff's a massive fan of playing pool, so how about this red pool table for a statement? I'm loving this whole vibe around this space, and to one side of the room, he's hung some awesome posters of Paul Newman and the rat lag from the movie The Hustler with his pool table equipment to the center. On the other end of the room is the entrance of this man cave and to one side is a bar area with a nice gold metal six ounce popcorn machine, some storage and these knives that are from Jeff's great uncle from World War II, which means a lot to him. Across it is a space of more toys such as this 60 inch LG HD TV being used for what's inside these cabinets, such as the original Xbox, Xbox 360 and a Nintendo NES for all of his vintage games. He's also mounted DevTech Pro Cinema 100 speakers throughout the pool table area as well as two of these insane looking Infinity SM155 full range speakers that are being powered by the Denon AVR5800 which is also connected to a Denon DMV3700 DVD player and a Sansui turntable. For decor around the room in the theatre are some cool posters being hung on the wall, complemented by these beautiful wall lights matching his theme, a popcorn artwork, three home theatre signs at the top and a cool rock and roll kiss clock reminding him to never stop rocking this room. In fact sometimes he brings out even bigger guns which are these Ross Hurricane speakers with a 1000 watt Crest audio amplifier to do some serious damage when he's shooting pool and like to jam really loud. Jeff's got some awesome future plans for his man cave and that is to upgrade his Anthem D2 preamp to the new AVM70 preprocessor and since he's got a 5 channel ATI 2505 amplifier sitting in the cabinet, he wants to add 4 new Dolby Atmos ceiling speakers to complete his dream 7.4.4 setup. And that's it for episode 24, hope you guys enjoy this epic man cave that Jeff has put together. So many of us dream of a setup like this, so please hit that like button and shoot a comment appreciating his hard work. If any of you guys are interested to purchase any of these items, I'll try to list everything in the description box down below, which also helps this channel grow. I think a space like this main cave is an excellent choice of layout, which definitely works. And Jeff says after 30 year of journey of buying and selling, dreaming and building, he can finally sit back and watch movies with a big smile on his face, knowing he built the entire basement all by himself. Thanks everyone for watching and sending positive vibes, truly feeling the love and support you guys keep given. Hope 2021 gets better for everyone. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one featuring another epic home theater which I cannot wait for. Peace.